<laughs> oh, bloody dagnabbit! Stop! Has this happened to you? Then you need Bomb Bomb B's City Skylines Terraform Mod Tutorial. I'm Bomb Bomb B, and you are very welcome. First of all, you're going to need the Terraform mod. To get this, click on Steam Workshop, scroll down, and select Mod from the right hand menu. And then in the search bar, type Terraform and click search. You're looking for Terraform tool. Your version may be different from my version. With these mods in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a plus button. Click that to subscribe. I've already subscribed to mine. You just need to click subscribe and this will be automatically added to your game of City Skylines. So once you've installed the Terraform mod, a new icon will appear at the foot of your screen. This green tile down here will open up the Terraform menu. So we're going to look at the tools, starting with the easiest, working through to the more difficult, and the easiest is the Sand Painter. Click on the end icon there, Move your paintbrush over the area you want to convert from grass to sand. Left click and paint. And it's as easy as that. To turn the sand back to grass, right click. Next we'll look at one of the more creative tools, and that is the raise and lower land. That's the second icon from the left. Let's left click that now. And now move your paintbrush over the land you'd like to raise or lower. Quick tip, to increase or decrease the size of your paintbrush, use the plus or minus key on the keypad. Minus will make your brush smaller, plus will make your brush larger. And now left click and paint over the area you would like to increase the land. And there we have a hill. If you make a mistake, simply press Ctrl Z. Or if you're in America, Ctrl Z. Right clicking will lower the land. Here I'm going to leave the paintbrush in the middle, not move it, and just hold down the right mouse key. As you can see, I now have a crater. Once again, if you make a mistake, Control Z. So the Raisin Lower Land tool gave us very natural looking hills, which is great, but they're not very good for building on. How about creating a flat surface? A raised flat surface using the Raise and Lower by a Level tool. Left click and then move your cursor over the land you would like to raise or lower. Now left click and it will raise the land at that point by one level and then create you a perfectly flat surface for building on. Once again if you make a mistake, Control Z. But what if you wanted to build a sunken garden? Well right click and paint will drop everything by one level. Once again, if you right click in the middle of there, it will drop that by one level. Control Z, Control Z. Ah, but what happens if you use the raise or lower level tool on a non flat surface? Well, here we'll choose the side of this hill and select that point there. Left click raises it by a level at that point. Then when you paint out, it will continue to keep the area flat. As you can see here, we're getting a bit of a cliff. If you move into the hill, you'll create a ravine. Control Z. 
and the same by right clicking drops the level you go into the cliff and although you're dropping a level if you move out you will still create an extension to where you started and so back to the top of the show that dagnabbit moment you know the one where you look at the side of the hill and go oh, I could do something really nice with that using the terraform tool and then you click and you end up with a ravine and you have no idea why it's probably the reason why you're watching this now and I can solve that for you but first of all control Z to undo the mess now what's happened is you're using the pre-select an altitude tool now this is particularly useful for when you want to build out from the side of a hill but you don't want to raise or lower the level you actually want this level here so right click to pre-select that level and then left click will build to that level once again if you go into the hill you'll create a ravine if you build out you'll create a cliff Control z to undo you could do that at high points right click up there and build out and at low points right click down there and build in Control z to undo both of those what's been happening to you with that massive ravine that you've unexpected right click at the bottom of that river now and come up to the high point we pre-selected the bottom of the river so when we now click at high point it's painting to the river level which if we zoom out and follow to the river you'll see it's the same depth as the river see wasn't that confusing after all was it so we've built a nice plateau on the side of a hill for our new housing estate overlooking the bay well, what we want to do is we want to bring the traffic in from this point down here select road and the slope is too steep how do we get around that well we use terraform mods again this time second from the right is the slope tool left click that now this is another pre-select tool where you choose the point where you would like the slope to end in this case about here and now we scroll back to where we'd like it to begin say here then left click and draw a straight line to where you would like your slope to enter the plateau and then go back a few times to make that wide enough for your new road and now you're able to build the road up the slope to your new plateau and so we move on to our last tool but first of all let's build a hill I want it to look fairly organic I want it to be fairly large as well so what we'll do is we'll just grow this area here and we'll just grow the hill and it's looking yeah that's okay I quite like that problem is it looks a little bit non-organic a few of these slopes here are a little bit on the steep horrible side uh, a little bit I would like it to be a smoother hill let's drop down to the smooth tool here the one with the wavy line on it left click that adjust your brush size using the plus or minus keys on the number pad and then just polish away the surface until you get the desired effect and that's looking much more organic certainly an improvement on the original could do a little more work to it but it just shows the power of the smooth tool before we go 
one tip and a warning. Don't forget when working with water that the physics will get the better of you if you're not careful. Let's pre-select here this land and just build a dam. Build into the river here and there. Quickly unset the timer. Now the water will now have to force its way through here and we're getting flooding. Not a problem for us because look at this, look at the torrents that this has caused. It's completely changed the physics of the water and by doing that you could cause yourself massive problems. And so before I go, one last quick tip. Once you've laid down roads, they will not be affected by terraforming. Here I've laid down two rectangles of roads. And I pre-selected the high altitude on this side of a hill. And I'm going to paint the gaps between the two roads. There we have some kind of very strange fort and I've also gone over the lines. I'll let you decide how you can use roads creatively with the Terraform mod. So that's it from me. If you found this video useful don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Bonbon B and you've been very welcome.